It doesn't matter if you're shooting on the sharpest camera and lens, if your shot's not in focus, it's not going to look very good. Shooting retakes because of inconsistent focusing will cost you time, which you could be putting to better use. There are three tools at different prices which you can buy to keep your shots in focus, but they all have a different level of accuracy. Welcome to the Film Lock. Thanks to Premium Beat for providing the music we used in this episode. We recommend you check them out whenever you need a great track for your film. Visit their royalty free library to see what we mean. We've added a link in the description below. 90% of the time we focus by rotating the barrel of lens with our fingers. And 90% of the time this works just fine. If you're shooting a film where your actor is moving from position 1 to 2, back to 1, then to 3, keeping the movement and focus consistent will be very difficult to pull off. To help add a little more accuracy when focusing, you can add tape to your lens which represents the different focus marks you need to hit. This will dramatically improve your accuracy and it is a great budget option. The only problem is you will have to stick tape to your lens and replace it after every shot. And because your fingers are touching the lens, this will be restricting the movement of the camera and may cause micro jitters with your fingers. The next option is to buy a follow focus that mounts onto 15mm rods. You can set and easily wipe off the focus marks and it gets your hands away from the lens and it makes it a lot easier for someone else to operate. A follow focus will certainly improve your accuracy over the tape method. When it comes to shots which have a lot of movements such as handheld shots and shots using steady cams and gimbals, a wireless follow focus is preferred as the weight needs to be perfectly balanced and someone holding onto the follow focus will throw off that balance. PD Movie sent us over their Remote Air 3 wireless follow focus to review, but before we wanted to review it, we used it to shoot our short film The Asylum Groove. We used it for shots which were static on a tripod, handheld and steady cam shots, and also slider shots. There are two main advantages we found when using a wireless follow focus. Firstly, it helps improve the accuracy and consistency of your focus, as there is someone whose sole job is to set the marks and pull focus. This person is the first AC, and if they nail focus every time, it's going to save a lot of time on set. The technical side of shooting will be accurate and consistent, meaning fewer retakes caused by technical issues such as overshooting focus in a shot. This follow focus system comes in two parts. Firstly, you have the focus motor which attaches to 19 or 15mm rods. In our case, we attach it to our 15mm rod setup. Depending on your lens, it may or may not come with gear rings. I was done so we attach gear rings to the lens so we can line up the Remote Air 3 motor with the lens. The focus motor is then powered via a D-Tap connection which you can find on a V-Lock battery. We have a video coming out on Sunday about an alternative D-Tap battery source that we used, so if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Next you can attach the mini antenna to the motor which wirelessly connects to the second part of the follow focus which is the controller that has an internal battery and can be charged via USB. To connect the controller to the focus motor you must set them both to the same channel. Then if you hold down the focus, zoom and iris button for 3 seconds it auto calibrates and finds the focus points of your lens. This means when you turn the focus wheel it will turn the lens no further than infinity and to whatever the minimum focus distance of your lens is. Having this function makes it quick and easy to set up different lenses. Next you can set the strength you want the motor to turn the focus wheel on the lens, as every lens will require a different amount of torque. This 50mm lens we have rotates by using very little pressure, so it will require less torque to turn. These vintage lenses require more pressure to turn, so you'll have to set the motor to a higher torque. You can put your focus marks on the focus ring of the controller, which is rubber. When you need to reset the marks, you can simply rub the dry wipe pen off, or replace it with the other focus ring it comes with. The motor and the controller are built really strong and every cable attachment is at a high quality. The controller is not too heavy but has a slight weight to it and the modelling of the unit is slim and it has lots of quarter threaded screw mounts so you can attach it to a light stand or to the lanyard that comes in the box. The wheel rotation of the controller has a nice resistance to it when turning and again it feels very much like a premium product. Like with everything, using a wireless follow focus will have a learning curve and that's definitely something that you need to get used to when using the Remote Air 3. The menus and the UI can take a while to understand and you definitely want to keep the manual course by at first. There are lots of indicator lights on the controller which mean different things depending on their colour. The control unit status indicator has four different colours. Red means the unit is powered on. Green means it is powered on but sync via Bluetooth which only happens when you are using the app. Blue means that the unit is charging and cyan means the unit is synced via Bluetooth and is being charged. If you need to change the settings of the focus, you need to use the combination of button presses. If you want to change the speed of the motor, you have to press the button on the bottom of the motor five times. 
There is a little graphic on the motor which tells you how many presses you need to do, which is great because it saves you looking in the manual. When you want to enable the auto calibration function, you need to hold down the focus, zoom and iris button for 3 seconds, which is a little bit awkward to do. This is not a big problem and once you get familiar with it, it just becomes normal. The one thing we did have a problem with was the follow focus no longer responds when we change different setups. We were unsure how this problem occurred, maybe a button was pressed and the setting was changed. This held up the shoot but we did manage to get it working within a couple of minutes. Becoming more familiar with the unit and menus will solve this problem. We only really use a wireless follow focus on bigger projects like making short films. When you have someone whose sole job it is to keep focus throughout the whole film, it will help save you time as this technical side of filmmaking will be at a higher level of accuracy. Not everyone can afford a wireless follow focus like the PD Movie Remote Air 3, but it's definitely worth considering when you can. The time saved versus the price you pay is something to think about. If using a wireless follow focus saves you an hour a day for example, that's an extra hour you have to improve the other aspects of your image and do more takes so the performance is the best it can be. That hour could also save you money in other areas of the production too. If you are renting a location which requires you to pack up at a certain time or a member of your cast needs to leave early, that hour you've got back could save you from having to rent the location again and getting your actor out for another day. If you need to keep doing retakes because you kept over or under shooting your focus, your actor may have delivered a better performance in one of those out of focus takes. The three options we spoke about to help keep your focus all work, but all have a different level of accuracy, so choose the one you need for your production. Before we got the PD Movie Remote Air 3, we did not expect how much it would improve the quality of the final image, and how much time it would save using it. Go check out the PD Movie website. They have lots of different wireless full of focus systems and lots of information about how they can improve your production. In this video, we briefly spoke about the first assistant camera who was operating the full of focus. If you want to know more about that role, let us know in the comments below and we might make a video about it. Hit that orange lens cap to subscribe and remember that you've got one shot at a time.